Hey, it's David Shelton, Broker Century 21 Advantage, bringing you another episode of Real Value. Today, I'm in front of the City Hall of Sioux Falls, and I'm here with Mike. He's the battalion chief, got a long title, so I'll let Mike tell you his title. <laughs> but we're talking about fire safety, fireworks, upcoming 4th of July, 1st of July, I just learned, another another fireworks show. Mike, so good to see you. Thank you, you bet, for your service to our community, right? Yeah. Keeping us all safe. Trying our best. Yeah, yeah. So. Would you let our viewers know just a little bit? I've got I've got some information that I that I downloaded, but but the biggest thing that surprised me about fireworks safety was, and it's coming upon us quickly. All these fireworks stands are opening everywhere, and mm -hmm. people are getting kind of giddy, and they're opening up what they didn't use last year. And uh, human nature is to kind of like we were talking about earlier, sort of what can I get away with? Sure. You know, and. Uh, so a lot, a lot. There's some rules about fireworks. There's some just some good common sense as well. Would you would you let our viewers know this so that they can pass it on to each other and, and uh, you can, as you pass it on to them and to the next generation too. You bet. Sure. Awesome. All Go right. So in Sioux Falls, uh, in this within the city limits, uh, there are you are limited to what you can use. You can use. Uh, you cannot use anything that makes an audible report which means anything that makes noise. Boom. Yep, right, yeah. those boom, can't use those. And anything that is self-projecting. So in other words, like the tanks that scoot across the ground or bottle rockets, anything that flies or goes zip, pretty much. So yeah. we got no bangs and no zips. Okay, what about those things that stain your driveway? Uh, the snakes. The snakes. The snakes, yeah, you can use those uh, smoke balls. Yeah. You know, you're okay as long as, you know, hopefully the smoke's not going into the neighbor's yeah. uh, house or whatever, they might complain a little bit. But, yeah. But uh, those things are okay to use. Okay. Anything that goes bang or, or zip, uh, not allowed in Sioux Falls without a permit. Wow. All I know is one thing. If you're in my driveway, don't be using those silly snakes. <laughs> <laughs> those are hard to clean up. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what that residual is. It leaves a mark is. for a long time. It does. <laughs> yep. It does. It's crazy. So, and, and sparklers. Talk to me a little bit about sparkler, sparklers because we think that that's the most... Little kids have sparklers. They're walking around, playing with each other, sword fighting. Mm -hmm. all those crazy things they can really be dangerous can't yeah, they yes they can anything that starts on fire is hot you know and uh, so they are dangerous they should always be used with uh, parental supervision yeah uh, make sure that uh, mom and dad are watching or or, an, or a responsible adults watching okay. and uh, we want to keep those sparklers pointed away from the kids because again they are hot and that's you know uh, number one uh, thing in, I believe in the in the emergency rooms is burn is burn injuries burn due to sparklers. fireworks yeah. wow. and sparklers. Or, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's kind of like um, I learned that that in the emergency room the number one hand injury are people cutting bagels and they're oh, and they're holding the bagel <laughs> like this and they're cutting toward their hands. That it's makes like, sense. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to end up in an injury so, right. you know, sooner sooner rather than later, right? right. So. We're talking about so if if you if you need the bigger experience for for, for fireworks, mm -hmm. and and when I was a kid, I was raised in Southern California. We just went outside and watched the Disneyland fireworks, right? Sure. And not, and then we found a hill and we'd see all these crazy displays. But um, but there are some safe zones or some safety zones where the community can gather, right? And I just learned today, even though the W H Lions Fairgrounds is in Sioux Falls, like you know you'd think. It's actually not. It's a. It's a. It's a little island. Yes. And uh, and it's county, I guess. It is right? county. Yep. So um, as far as we know, there there may be a uh, an exhibit there on the Fourth of July, but for sure at the Minnehaha Country Club. Minnehaha oh. Country Club on July four. Uh, I don't remember exactly the times, uh, but on July four. Oh, dark thirty. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Probably right at sundown or <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then the another one, uh, Catfish Bay. Okay. Uh, on July first, and July those 1st. are permits that I have seen that okay. I know of. And so those are probably public events. I know mm -hmm. we we look for different places around Sioux Falls, um, like um, over at. Um, Golly, what, in, anyway, look at the topography of Sioux Falls. There's some great spots where you can gather and you can actually see people start to kind of tailgate early mm -hmm. and, and uh, take advantage of both the WH Lions Fairgrounds as well as the Minnehaha Country Club. There's some really sweet spots. Of course, it's, uh, it's, it's generally free. We've never had to pay for parking and lifting up our trunk or, or hanging out. A lot of oohs and ahs, bring out your, uh, make sure you have water bottles and, 
and, uh, and bring your family, get prepared to have some fun. Try not to be cranky on that day. And uh, <laughs> all, of those, all of those good things. Any parting tips about fireworks safety? Where do you put those things out? Is yes. it good to have a can of water? Great to have a bucket of water. Okay. I was glad you brought that up because I bet. didn't want to finish with that. Is make sure you have a bucket of water, a way to extinguish them. Leave them there for a while. Okay. Uh, we have had in the past a couple of fires over the years, and it's because people are throwing away fireworks they thought were done and cooled off sure, and just sure. weren't. So yeah. a bucket of water. Um, uh, to put your, douse your fireworks in, let them soak for a half an hour before you throw them away. Uh, and then, uh, of course, um, changing weather conditions too can, can be a factor. So right now it seems like we're pretty good. We got another little shot of rain, Yeah. Uh, but you know, uh, things can, can dry out quick. Yeah, and even though the grass is green, you may have some area that has brush and some undergrowth, right? Absolutely. Near you and just one spark can change the dynamics uh, of the landscape for a long time Absolutely. because that one sparks. So be careful. I know in, uh, in where we live that we do have that condition where there's some there's some underbrush that, that is already dry. We were out looking at it yesterday. So just one thing, Mike, to finish up, and I, firework safety is what we're talking about, our main topic. But, you know, this is a time of year, too, when people like to sit outside and have campfires, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of us have fire pits in our backyards. Mm -hmm. Anything we need to know about about fire safety for fire pits and can I go to sleep and just leave the wood burning or, or what's some good that, tips? That would be a bad idea. Okay, so let's tell our, let's tell our viewers about yeah. that. So uh, fire pits in Sioux Falls, uh, if you're burning wood or charcoal, that's the two things that you're allowed to use is, is fuel, is wood or charcoal and camp camp wood or firewood, not not your two by four scrap, two by four and plywood. Okay. So I won't use that. Okay. So firewood, charcoal needs to be 15 feet away from any combustible structure, which means a wooden fence, a shed, a house, uh, anything like propane that. Propane tank? Propane tanks would, uh, okay. kind of. Okay. So you yeah. can, if you have the propane fire pit, yeah. use the manufacturer's recommendations. Okay. So it's only when you're burning wood or charcoal that we need to keep that 15 foot separation okay. distance. Okay. Uh, propane uh, fired ones, just use manufacturer's instructions. Always have a way to put it out. Garden hose, dirt, sand, fire extinguisher, some way to put it out and do not go to bed until that thing's out. Okay, and good. So the ashes, this happened here recently in Sioux Falls, okay. is the, you know, the next day or even the day after, people just take the ashes and dump them in the garbage, make yeah, sure it's idea. cool. Yeah. yeah. Trying yeah. to kind of use the back of your hand and kind of feel if there's any heat underneath there, yeah. stir up the ashes and feel if there's any heat because yeah. it can stay hot for a long time. I have, I have, no, I've, I've had firsthand experience with that. It's just like I started putting some wood in the next day. Everything was out, I thought, right? Nice bed of ashes, mm -hmm. put some wood in the next day and and a pine cone just went poof, yep. you know, right? Yeah, it's amazing. So be careful. Uh, we hear that as, as little kids, don't touch, right? When you get up to the, when you get to the stove, keep your hands off that. But inevitably we want to do that. So be careful. And also um, just like Mike, you know, be, be, um, be on the lookout, right? So if your friends are being careless or reckless, just give them a good, uh, a good, uh, you, you know, uh, encouragement to, uh, to be safe, yeah. right? And, yeah. and to practice that yourself. So don't do the thing where you're saying, well, you know, don't do it as I do, do as I say. That doesn't work well for, for <laughs> fire safety at all. So appreciate you so much, Mike. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for your service for our, our, our city. And I know you guys get called out to some really weird circumstances, <laughs> you know, throughout the year because a lot of people just are not paying attention or they're being careless or reckless. Right. Um, and so um, be safe. Let us know where you're going to see fireworks uh, this coming 4th of July or 1st of July at Catfish Bay. And uh, take some photos, upload them, and let's make this fun, safe, enjoyable, and we'll be around next year. And we'll hopefully be back here with Mike and uh, have, some, have some latest tips for 2023. Thanks a bunch.